Ed and, and Ella were talking about Todd, uh, like, the relationship between Todd and Natalie. And, like, as a joke, I was like, so when are you going to marry Todd? <laughs> and uh, and that's like, oh, I don't know. Like, I've thought about it. Like, I was like, what? Okay, that's not, that's not the way like, like, the conversation went That was pretty much all. how it went. That not was the gist. Not yes, it is. She's like, I'm like, would you say yes? And she's like, I don't know. Like, I've, I've contemplated it. Like, that's Can what I marry she said. you guys? Okay, first of all, no. What's the real story? <laughs> okay, so we were sitting here, and he jokingly asked me. He was like, he was like, "What would you do if Todd asked you to marry him?" And I was like, "Right now." Right now. And I was like, "Uh, I don't know, like, I, or whatever." And then he was like, "Oh my God, so you're thinking about marrying him?" Mm-hmm. And I was just like, "No, but I like, have I ever thought about it? Yeah, of course." I don't I'm know. With you're him. reacting like that is, I see what Ellie was saying. That is pretty much like you're going. Like, well, because then, uh, then, then we went down this whole rabbit hole us three here were sitting and having this huge deep conversation about like the idea of marriage and the way that I think about marriage and the way each of us thinks about marriage and I had this conversation with Jeff and Taylor actually about you guys too about you and Todd we were like arguing whether or not you guys would get married <laughs> and I was like I was like I don't know like I feel like Natalie's not like the marriage type like she doesn't want to get married but I was like if she's gonna marry anybody I think it's gonna be Todd right wait, wait. Why, why would you think that? Mm-hmm. Like, if if you, like, wanted to get married, like, I think this is the guy. I think you guys are, like... Yeah, I, I think, think so, too. I think you met your match. I think really? so, too. Yeah, 100%. Interesting. Todd's, like, the perfect guy for you. Think about it. That's weird, because at the beginning of the relationship, you were like, why the fuck are you dating Todd? Are you fucking... No, but now we get it. <laughs> yeah, but no, now, now we, we get, get it. it. Now we get it. Like, I completely get it. What do you mean? That's just, like, the type of guy that... Is like perfect for you. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like yeah. Weird. I was thinking, I was thinking about that the there's other no day one, too. Yeah, it's no literally perfect. It's but perfect then Natalie fit. said um, that if she does marry Todd, she'll most likely also then marry someone else. So Todd <laughs> is just the first husband. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. But that okay. That makes me seem like a fucking weirdo. But th- this goes into my concept of marriage, where I don't like, I don't really believe in marriage. I don't believe that like you having a piece of paper and a ring on your finger right. makes it. So if he proposed to you today, what would you say? Well, I think that would be a little inappropriate because I would just be really caught off guard. Okay. And that would be a little weird. Okay, so if he I'd talked be to like, you, no. If he talked to you today and was like, hey, I'm thinking about proposing to you maybe in like the next month or two. I don't know because the way that I like it, it would have to be very clear that like if I'm getting, I'm 23, 23 years old. <laughs> if this is your first marriage and you'll kick him out. This is my first marriage. I'm 23. Years. You know, like what's really going to happen in 20 years? Like, are we really going to be together forever? I don't know. But Todd's that. not 23. So you'd say yes to marrying him with him having to understand that you're probably going to get a divorce. <laughs> which is kind of, it, I'm down. I'm down. But like, think about it. Four because, years, Because really? my thing is like, I'm already dating him already with him in a sense so like what's the difference like you're already together like i mean i understand there's differences between marriage and like just dating and whatnot like you're living together and you're doing all these things together whatever but like that's how i'm like i'm like that's why i never understand when people well marriage is like the commitment that like not only you're gonna spend the rest of your lives together but it's also the commitment of like we're you're gonna father my children like i feel like that uh, in this situation is also like that commitment Mm -hmm. so like you saying yes to marrying him is like hey can i put a baby inside you I feel like it's a little bit, it's kind of the same thing, right? You want children? Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't <clears throat> want children. Is this the age you would want children at? Can you imagine if I had children running around here right now? Oh, dude, you'd <laughs> fucking go ballistic. I'd fucking. You'd go ballistic if there was like a little Todd running I around. I wouldn't have a job. Because <laughs> you know that, that baby would take precedence over you no matter what. Every, all the attention that goes to there you. There you go, Natalie. <laughs> changing his diaper again. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you? All the attention that goes to you would I go to this little I see talk. Taylor feeding the little baby. <laughs> I, start, I start crying. Ew, Taylor said a breastfeeding my baby. That's Taylor funny. just said breastfeeding. No, Taylor, that's not what I meant. So, Nat, so the answer is the answer is yes. You'd probably say yes. I, in this moment, like, if you asked me tomorrow, I would not say yes. Oh, oh fuck, damn it. Man. Like, I have to ride it out a little bit. You would, you, um, would, you, would you be cool with him being the father of your kids? I think he's a really like nice, genuine, caring person. So I think that he would be—he will be a good father. I don't know if I want him to father my children right now in this moment because yeah. I don't really want kids in this moment for a little bit. Um, I thought you wanted to be a hot mom. I know. I did have this thing where I was like 25 and have kids, be a hot mom, but like you know, things change. You gotta be hot first. All right, uh, that's zing. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be a hot mom if you're not hot in the first place. I saw it sitting there, but I didn't take it. Yeah, I took it. <laughs> you did. I took it and I wrote it all the way down. I see. Last night, I went to dinner, and I was with my friend who's like kind of obsessed with celebrities and like 
she's visiting me here in LA. So like every time we go out, she's like on the lookout for celebrities. Right. And she went to the bathroom and she comes back like running and she's like, ah, ah, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom. I'm like, what? She's like, I think it's JLo. I think it's JLo and A-Rod. No way. And I swear, and I, and I was like, what? Okay, so I go to the bathroom. There are two stalls, one for girls and one for boys. And there's like a line. And so I like pretend to like go and look in the line and there's JLo. And I was like, oh my God. So, oh, like, really? so I stand there. A-Rod comes out of the other bathroom and they like walk past us and then the line just is not there anymore because they were all her bodyguards that were just in line. So then there was no line and then we go into the bathroom and it smelled so bad. Like it was, it, I think A-Rod went in there and just shit his fucking brains out. That's funny. And probably J-Lo too because both bathrooms smelled terrible and then they just left. And then all, both me and my friend like went into the bathroom so I actually had to go and I was like, Oh my god, it smells so bad a- in here. Era dropped an A log. You really dropped one. It was so and then like she couldn't stop talking about it. She was like calling her mom. She's like, Mom, mom, I just saw JLo in the bathroom and she like shit right before me. So like me and JLo sat on the same toilet. <laughs> She's freaking out. It was That's really funny. funny. Don't know if there could have been a sewage problem. We don't know if let's be fair to A Rod. <laughs> he might not have taken a big dump in there. A Rod, if you want to come Can on. Can I the say show, this right now? Clear your name. It, it was me. Ro- <laughs> it I, was you. I was at that restaurant all. I knew it. No, I will say this. I fucking the, the the worst part of going to like any public bathroom is when it smells really bad. It's not like enduring the smell. It's when you walk out of that public bathroom and now you have to explain to the guy walking in next that what what is in there is not you. Exactly. Right. Like that's the worst. So like you know it'll be like really smelly. You'll be walking out and the guy's waiting and you'll have to go. What's in there? I have nothing to do with it, man. <laughs> like yeah, I, I, I that's like that's like the, that's the toughest like. <laughs> That's the toughest interaction you have to deal with with public bathrooms. Have you ever done that? Yeah, I was going to say, you've done that? Literally, yeah. I think I've done it like what? six or seven times. Me too. When you you've go never in- done that? No. You've never left a smelly bathroom and been like, yo, be careful in there. That's not me. Maybe to somebody that I know. Yeah. I like, feel like the last person fucking- I do it to is somebody I know. To random people, I always say that. You don't say like, it was- I would say more like you come out and you're just like, it smells really bad in there. Like it was like that before I got in but or I, something. But I guess you, that's, like, that's, what, that's what you would say too if it was you that did the smell too. <laughs> like even if I would like took like this massive disgusting shit, I'd still be like, yeah, I was the last guy. I had fucking nothing to do with that shit. But it is really embarrassing when you when you know there are like people in line, especially like if if it's a public bathroom and like it's smelly and you're like, no, you're gonna walk out and it's gonna smell like shit. Right. The worst is when you have to use a bathroom and it's so close to everybody. That's the oh, worst. Like this one. Yeah, the one here. We have one in the living room, and it's like right off of it's right off of the couch. And when like guests come for business meetings, they'll go, "Where's the bathroom?" And we'll go right here, and we'll we'll point it's right here. And then they'll go, and it's like it'll be the exec of like fucking Pepsi taking a piss, and like mm-hmm. everybody hears him taking a pee because it's so close, and it's such an awkward thing. And like one time we were at a meeting, and one of the guys got up to go pee during the meeting and he was peeing for a really long time and the, the, the guys that were pitching us something just started fucking cracking up because the, 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 the pee was so long and it was so loud and we all heard it in the living room. We were just like, fuck, we got to move this fucking bathroom or we got to bulletproof and soundproof that fucking room or something. <laughs>